The UNH field hockey team opened its season this past weekend, and the Cats are gearing up for their first homestand of 2014 this weekend. The Wildcats non-conference schedule pits them against some of the best teams in the nation, a challenge that head coach Robin Balducci welcomes with open arms. I think it's good where the program is. It's good for us to do that. Um, the real focus for the beginning of the season is to really find out what we're made of, where we're at, what we need to do. So when October rolls around, it's time for conference play. We're pretty well versed at our strengths and weaknesses in the areas uh, you know, that we've got to pay attention to. Yeah, I mean, what's great is we start our schedule off with a really competitive, really hard schedule this year. And the reason why we do that is to really prove um, how we can play and challenge ourselves at the beginning of the season against all these really difficult top 20, top 10 teams so that we can come out in conference and really play to our fullest potential. With Louisville and Indiana already behind them, the Cats set their sights on another pair of tough competitors this weekend at Memorial Field. Drexel first, very athletic, uh, very fast. We've played them uh, not as often as some of the other opponents. Uh, we played them a couple of years ago down there. Uh, we lost by a goal uh, to them there. They're very, like I said, very athletic, so they play hard, play tough. Um, that's the game we've got to make sure we don't look ahead at Stanford. We've got to make sure that we pay attention to that one. I think we got a little bit of a bad taste in our mouth from Stanford. Not that uh, on any given day they can't beat us. They're a very, very good team, but we had a rough game out there last year, and so I think everybody's pretty anxious to play against them again. Yeah, obviously we want to focus on Drexel first and foremost, but once again, a huge game this weekend, um, and especially since Maine is also coming down and playing Stanford. Not that we want to focus on them this early either, but it's able to see how well they do against Stanford and some of that competition and how we do uh, um, against those two teams also. And Drexel's always a really tough game, always a good game. The last time we played them, we lost 2-1, to one, I think, in overtime. So they're always a tough opponent. And then Stanford's always normally a top 10 um, representative of the country. Stanford and Drexel won't be the only field hockey powerhouses in town this week. Durham will also be the site to a pair of neutral games, showcasing the likes of Maine and Boston University. Well, it's a, actually, it's a phenomenal weekend of field hockey. If anyone has any interest in field hockey, it's unbelievable the teams we're putting together to have here this weekend. Uh, it starts on Thursday with Maine and Stanford, then um, us in uh, Drexel on Friday with a doubleheader with BU and Stanford. I mean, that's as good a, a day as you'd get anywhere here in the Northeast, and then uh, we Final, finally uh, finish up with Stanford on Sunday. So for people in the area, some of the high schools and uh, you know local clubs, whatnot, it's a heck of a weekend of field hockey. You're going to see a wide variety, a lot of different conferences. I mean, you get the CAA and the NORPAC in Stanford, uh, you know, and then obviously us in Maine, you know, locals for people to come and support. So hopefully it'll rally the troops. It'll be a good weekend. The weather looks good. We've got a lot of things going on on campus. So hopefully it'll be a good crowd and work in our favor.